everyone. Thank you for joining. Over the last few weeks, we've talked about the first two C's of resiliency. Today, we are going to discuss the third C, control. Let's get started. With control, a resilient child knows that their actions and choices determine what happens next. Learning control involves planning ahead and analyzing their plan. This starts with understanding your behavior and its consequences to better control it. A chain analysis helps you to understand behavior and its consequences. It looks at situations that cause negative behaviors and the consequences for those unwanted behaviors. Let's take a look on how to complete a chain analysis. The first five steps involve recognizing the behavior, what led to that behavior, and what made it worse. It also involves describing the thoughts, feelings, or actions that led to the behavior and the consequences. Here's an example. I slammed the door really hard because my sister yelled at me for something I didn't do. Then my dog's toy was on the floor and I tripped. I was so mad and kept thinking how she always lies. I got in trouble by my mom and dad and they said I couldn't go outside. The next three steps will help you change your behavior so that you don't get in trouble. It involves describing skillful behaviors to replace problem ones, describing a detailed strategy or a plan, and describing how you will fix any consequences. Here's an example. Deep breathing or just walking away may have been helpful. I'm going to talk to my mom and dad to see how I can handle the situation next time. And I will apologize to my mom and dad for slamming the door, and I won't do it again. A chain analysis can help you have better control by looking at your unwanted behaviors and helping you to change them. Thank you so much for joining as we discuss the third C of resiliency, control. Make sure you stay tuned for the next C, which is confidence. See you next time.